Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another hair video for you guys and this video is inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Kimberly Sherrell. If you guys have never heard of her before, you should definitely check her out. She has a series on her channel called Killer Combos where she takes like two or three products in her hair collection and just see how they work for a wash and go. So I decided, you know what, I need to do some things like that because I have a lot of products in my collection that I do not put to use. So I want to try them different ways and see if I can get a pop and wash and go. Before we jump into the products that I'm using, as you guys can see, I do have some product in my hair already. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So my hair already has a leave-in conditioner in. I applied my leave-in in the shower like I usually do, and I use the LK Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. Now, as far as my styling products go, I really, really wanted to try the Bonita Afro balm which is from the dew this is a texture cream it's a creamy styling pomade and you can use this a lot of different ways I've seen people on YouTube use it in a wash and go twist out braid out etc I'm kind of using this as a base for my wash and go because I wanted to make sure my hair was nice and hydrated and as you guys know if you're not new to my channel my hair loves thick creamy products. Now for the curl definition in the curl poppage, I wanted to do the mousse def because I heard a lot of great things about this product. I heard that it's amazing for a wash and go, but I decided to kind of pair it with something that I'm currently obsessing over. And this is the main choice pearly braid out glaze. I guess it's kind of like a gel, but not really. I don't know how you explain it. It is like a jelly type consistency. It's really interesting. So I'm using the pearly braid out glaze just for some added hold and the mousse def for the definition. So far, so good. It's looking really, really nice. My curls are defined. So I think this wash and go is going to be really really nice it is definitely going to be a big wash and go i can tell it's not laying completely flat like how i do my um double gel wash and goes when i use the style factor one as well as the wet line gel but i still think that this wash and go is going to come out really nice and it's definitely not going to be crunchy like when i do the wash and go with the gel i feel like it's going to come out really really soft and bouncy so let me just show you guys how i'm doing this so I'm going to just section this off to a smaller section because for my hair, I need to work in small sections or it's going to be a disaster. So this is what my hair looks like with just the leave-in conditioner in. So the first thing I'm going to do is just wet my hair. I want my hair to be extremely wet. Then I'm going to go in with my Tangle Teaser and just detangle my hair so I'm just gonna go take my fingers and run it through the roots of my hair make sure that's nice and detangled now I'm going to take the Bonita Afro Balm I'm just gonna warm it up in my hands and apply that to my hair just for some like added moisture and it doesn't hurt that it smells really good too so what I've been doing is kind of layering the pearly braid out glaze and the mousse def. So I'm going to start off with the pearly braid out glaze and just run that on my hair. And then I'm going to take the mousse def and just put that on top. I'm really excited to see how this wash and go dries. I have no idea what this is about to look like at all. So some of you guys asked me what method do I use when I do my wash and goes. I do use a raking method. I have a lot of hair, so the shingling method is just not a method that's going to work for me. It's just going to take way too long. Okay, so that section is done. This is what my hair is currently looking like. So what I'm going to do is go finish this section here and I will come back when we get to the front so we can see how this is looking and see if this is going to be a legit pop and wash and go. I feel like you kind of know when your wash and go is going to be popping even when it's still wet. So I'll be right back.
All right guys, and I am back. My hair is completely coated in the product. It is already starting to shrink up in certain areas because it is so hot in my beauty room, guys. I can't have the AC on when I'm filming because you'll hear it and these lights, girl. It is hot, okay? So my predictions is that this is going to be a really big wash and go because my hair is not really like flat, if you will. Well, my hair is never flat because I have a lot of hair, but it it's already it already has like a lot of volume. I think it's gonna be really, really soft. I don't think it's going to be a crunchy wash and go at all. I think, I don't know why I feel like I might have flaking. Oh, I, I kind of feel like that. I completely drenched my hair in water. Before detangling, I wet my hair and even after I applied the product, I just soaked my hair in water and just kind of really just let my hair just drink all of this product, if you will. So. Hopefully I don't have flaking. If I do, ain't no, but just to wash my hair out and do it again in like two days, two, three days. So I'm not really pressed about it, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see if this is going to be a successful wash and go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit under the dryer and let this dry. And then I will be back tomorrow after I fluff and we can see how this wash and go. I don't even think I gotta talk. I think I could just sit here and shut up and you guys can already see the issue. What the hell is that? Do you guys see this? Okay guys, so let's just go ahead and talk about it. So, clearly this is probably the worst amount of flaking I've ever gotten from a product combination in history of just life. I don't even know, I can't even talk right now because the amount of flaking I have in my hair is disgusting. I look like I haven't washed my hair in about 10 years. So I just can't. My hair feels really soft, like really soft. It feels so moisturized and hydrated. My hair feels amazing. Um, there's not a lot of definition, but I don't mind that. I like the big hair look sometimes, so I don't mind that. I like the way it looks as far as like the volume goes. But the flaking, yo, it's all over my face. It's all over my lap. It was all over my phone. It is disgusting. I am not going anywhere today. I am actually about to just rewash my hair. I'm about to co-wash my hair and just start all over it and just do something that I know is going to work because I had other intentions for this wash and go, like showing you guys how I preserve my wash and goes and things like that. So yeah guys, obviously this was a complete disgusting fail. Like, oh my God, look at this. Ew, gross. I can't even make this look cute. How am I supposed to make this look cute for a photo on Instagram? I can't. Yeah guys, so we're just going to wrap up this video. I'm gonna go ahead and just rewash my hair. I think the flaking is mainly caused by the lemongrass leave-in. I'm gonna be honest. It's something about that chunky consistency that it has. I think that's really what caused it. I'm not too sure. So yeah guys, that is going to conclude this video. So sorry that this wash and go did not come out popping. I do not recommend combining these products. You can definitely try the Bonita Afro Balm underneath the gel that you already love and see if that gives you like a nice hydrated wash and go because that might work beautifully. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.